Hey everyone, Steve from a different chick farm and orchards. Uh, we are here doing a little bit of a remodeling project in the barn. Um, we bought this property, if you haven't watched some of our other videos, it came with a rather large horse barn, um, which was one of the things we just fell in love with about the property. Um, it was absolutely stunning. Um, the gentleman that we bought it off of had done a $50,000 addition onto the barn from the original barn, which made it about three or four times the size of the original barn. Um, nowadays, this is probably a $150,000 addition. It would be ridiculous what it would cost. But anyway, we have used this tack room in this barn um, for various things. It has a uh, it's been used for storage for horse gear. It has been used for uh, raising baby chicks. Uh, we got into, in case you don't know, for years we were into rare breed chickens and we had some of the rarest chickens in the world. And man, we had a blast with it. But that's when we had jobs outside the farm that paid the bills and the chicks didn't pay the bills. They were a wonderful hobby and it was enjoyable and we had a lot of good times except for the winter that it stayed below freezing most of the winter and we didn't have much fun that year. Mm -mm. Um, we All we did was um, was refill waterers because they froze. Uh, that was no fun. That was year in and we invested in a lot of heated waterers so that everybody we could get power to, we wouldn't have to deal with the frozen waterers. But now, if you've seen one of our other videos, uh, you can go back and I'll try to link that here if I can remember, I always forget that. I'll try to link that video, um, but we've got an older video showing when we set this room up before for what we're doing with it now. But we outgrew the space and we had to do some modifications this year to be able to do more growing, um, to be able to get more stuff in here. And, um, and we're probably not done. Uh, we're already talking about the next round of what we're going to do. So I'm going to turn you around and show you what we've been doing and show you what Tiffany's doing. So, Tiffany, uh -huh. would you care to tell them what you're accomplishing down here? So I am securing the lights to the end. So we decided we actually had some eight, these are eight footers, Eight right? foot, yes. Eight footer lights. And we had only had so many of our other the four, four foot lights. But we had an excess of eight foot lights. And since so, money's a little tight coming out the end of winter this yeah. year, um, we decided to make it work, didn't we? Yeah. So we're putting our eight foot lights here. Um, they're a little bit short from what we normally do. So what we're doing is I have these little clips that they were sent with. And so we are securing the clips uh, with these zip ties and just because I know every time there is something on the surface when you're trying to slide trays in and out that rips uh, your trays I am securing these under there so I don't know I interrupt you that, that clip is not latched in ah. <laughs> that's what happens you bother so we'll turn you around and let you see here so these are the four foot stainless shelves like what you buy at Walmart, Sam's Club, Lowe's, they make ones of four shelves and with five tiers and all, all sorts of things. These are the six tier shelves, as you can see. And so we are tying these in the Barina. This is the four foot Barina LED. Um, and these are the 6,500. These are the eight footers here that I'm using. That's a four foot in that box. These are 44 watt. I think you can see that. T8 LED and 6500k if you can see that right there so we use these to grow under we've been using them for is this three years tiff yeah three, three years. years they've worked great we've not had one light go out we did lose one light <clears throat> due to a water issue um and that was totally our fault not the light's fault electric and water is not designed to work together is it tiffany no so we're putting two per shelf because this won't be used for stuff that needs high intensity and two per shelf will work on most things anyway. But we're doing two rolls of lights per shelf on these and we'll just make sure brassicas don't go on this shelf because we want to keep intense light on the brassicas. And 
As you can see over here, there's one of our four foot shelves that's got four foot lights on it. And back here we have another one. I haven't got this one hooked back up yet since we just moved, we've been rearranging. This one I'm getting ready to put four foot lights on. And back here we have another one. And over here we have another one. Now, I'm gonna turn this, light, this camera over to Tiffany and I'm gonna let Tiffany take you around and show you some of what we got growing. She may even want to show it all to you. She may have some secrets. So, you know, she'll she'll show you what she can and let you see. So if you happen to watch my video last week or the week before, I actually went through and kind of showed you some stuff, but it was kind of a quick overview. So this time I'll kind of go through more of what I'm doing in here. Okay, so I love dahlias and it has kind of been a thing for me to grow some, but I absolutely hate the thought of spending the money that they want on tubers. So dahlias are kind of a hybrid item. So when you have seeds from them, they're never going to be the same. So I've got these and I've got some we have just rearranged so I have to go back around here to find yeah, the rest of them. Moved we moved it off. I've got some up here and I've also got some down here and we've also got some I haven't seen yet. So what we're gonna do is we'll see how they turn out. Um, I may come up with a brand new Dahlia that is absolutely gorgeous and it may be all ugly stuff that everybody already has. Who knows? But, you know, we're going to give it a shot and it's a lot cheaper than buying I all the tubers. I have never seen a Dahlia. I mean, me neither. Some of them are not ideal yeah. because they don't make great cut flowers yeah. or so forth, but I've yet to see some that are ugly. Even the singles that they don't like to sell commercially, I think some of them things are stunning. They look like stars. Yeah. I mean, Dahlias are really, really pretty. So um on our heat mats we got peppers we've got ah this is our sweet peppers so some of these are going to be for us to growing some of them are going to be for us to sell it's just our first round of them so we've got albino bullnose and chocolate beauty and purple beauty and canary yellow and golden california wonder and regular california wonder which is red when it's mature bullnose red yankee bell glow sweet chocolate melrose banana Mini Bells, Jimmy Nardellos, Habanadas, Cubanels, and oh, this is a solid tray of a solid bunch of peppers. And since we just flipped this around, I'm not sure what it is. And of course, the tag's on the other side. Well, sometimes you just gotta guess, don't you? <laughs> well, they're hot peppers. They're probably super hot. I don't have room to get them out, so. Is what it is. Not while you're holding the camera. Uh, this is our um, Johnny's greenhouse peppers. We have got Sprinters, Lilo, Molina, Ricanto. Not extremely happy right now with the Molinas. They do not have great germination. I'm rather disappointed. Last year we had rather poor germination, so I'm not sure what's going on with Molina. I'm going to be messaging Johnny's and see if they know what's up with them because as you can see, germination is really great on everything else. Uh, but you get that sometimes. Okay, here we have super hots. We got peach reapers and orange reapers and uh, orange reapers again and California reapers and mustard reapers and maruga UV reds and orange nagas and gator jigsaw and some more back there. Uh, lots of peppers, as you can imagine, but that's not even close to them. So we've got our herbs. We've got some lemongrass. Uh, I will be selling lemongrass uh, herbs, but also I'm going to be growing a lot of lemongrass this year because I want a lot of usage for it. I also want to sell it at the farmer's market. Thyme. We've got a regular uh, German winter thyme and an orange glow thyme and some chamomiles and some bunching onions. Uh, this deep purple did not germinate as well as I had hoped for, and I've had that on three trays thus far, so next time I sow them, I've got to sow them a bit heavier. Now, they, it may be my fault, it may be Johnny's fault, but onions do not do well if they're over a year old as far as seeds, and I do believe these deep purples we may have bought um, 
as last year's seed instead of this year's seed and just didn't get them done. So could be our fault. So I'm not going to fuss too much over that one. Uh, more herbs down here. Uh, sage, sweet marjoram, sweet william. Some chives finally starting to pop up. Uh, this was our tray of corn. Uh, we just wanted to see test how, our test our germination because a lot of these seeds were old. And oddly enough, I had 100% germination out of my bloody butcher seeds from like three years ago. So I was quite excited about that one. Uh, some of the other ones are not as good germination, which is, you know, it is what it is. Corn doesn't stay germinated real great. Or the germination rate on it's not that great. Uh, lots of brassicas. And kale. Um, calabries. Joy Choy. I could go through all these, but it's going to be hard to get all those yeah. because of all of the stuff in the way. One thing that I have not done in the past, and I've started this year, is ginger starts. So... I, obviously, I've grown ginger for several years now, and I love my ginger. Um, but I decided to chop them up in little pieces right here and um, put them in these little trays and try to see how they go from here. Um, a little bit easy, well, a little bit uh, early start. I'm a kind of looking at them and thinking that may have been a little bit early, early start on them. Um, because they're growing quite nicely um, so far. So, yeah, I'm probably going to up pot them and I might sell these first ones on Etsy or something because they are really quite nice and big. Um, since I'm up top here, as you can see, it's some of my grape cuttings. I love propagating my fruit trees and vines. So I've got some here and over there. I do not have my figs propagated yet. Shame on me, but it is what it is. It's been a really, really busy uh, late winter and early winter and all of that for us thus far and trying to get our greenhouse up. Um, I've got some asparagus starts going right here. So everybody's always begging for asparagus. Oh, and there's a little tomato trying to peek through. Not sure where the tomato come from, Steve. <laughs> but there's a tomato hiding in my asparagus. You can't get rid of volunteer tomatoes. <laughs> so... Bring it back down here. Uh, these are all going out this week. Um, they needed to go out last week and the week before that, but we had to put a tunnel up, so they didn't get to go out. Um, so I've got Mizuna that is way past needing to go outside and being planted. Um, some scarlet kale that's just begging to be planted. Uh, Komatsuna, which is kind of like a stem broccoli. Um, Swiss chard, which definitely needs out. And some more Swiss chard, which you can see definitely needs to go out. Collards, which needed to go out weeks ago, but I just didn't have the room and I didn't have the time and the extra spots for them. Uh, lettuces needed to go out. These are actually mini heads. And if I had them out and had them on light and we would have had enough light in the day, they would probably already be mature at this point. But cilantro, I love cilantro. Um, you can actually start it out this year as seeds. Um, where we're at right now and it would actually start just fine but we started this early just because we wanted to mosh which is also called corn salad um, I did get one other of my other trays planted of that one but that one's got to go out now because it's begging to be planted and ate um, romaine lettuce didn't have great germination out of this but it is what it is they were really 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 old seeds I think maybe 2017 so not bad for that old um, I think I'm trying to work around Steve over here. <laughs> Parsley, if I remember correctly. Oh, no, more cilantro. I do have a tray of parsley somewhere in here. Yellow boot jalokias. Uh, these are some of my lavenders that I had from last year that I never up potted, and I killed a lot of them uh, off, but I brought some of them back, so we're gonna up pot them this year. Uh, oregano. It still has probably another couple weeks before I can up pot it. And catnip. It is away from my cats because you know what my cats do with catnip? They eat it all and destroy it. And this is a tray of my figs. I did tell you I did not start figs. These are not started. These are last year's fig cuttings. And I thought I killed them all. 
but there's three that's alive. So that's why they're in here and they need up potted desperately. Those will be for sale, won't they? They will be. I've got not lavender cauliflower. These are peppers. Looks like those are skunks. They don't smell like skunks, but it says they're skunks. Boot jalokias and ghost score, well, Jay's ghost scorpions. Death spirals. Those are not the vino Brussels sprouts, as you can tell. They're also peppers. Now, this is the tray, if you've watched my videos, that the Seven Pop Pink uh, germinated beautifully when it was supposed to. And the Seven Pop Peach is still just now coming up. So, it was like four weeks behind the Seven Pop Pink, which is ridiculous. But it does happen that way when you're talking hot peppers. So, <clears throat> When you have bought seeds from a company, especially hot pepper seeds, and it's been four to six weeks, and you still don't have nothing popped up, or you have some popped up and not all of them popped up, make sure you have your germination mat or your humidity chamber and like 80 degrees and light and so forth before you reach out and throw a fit on somebody for their pepper seeds because sometimes they can take, what, like 10 to 12 weeks? Yep, and it can be your fault too. Yeah, so. And all it takes is one foul up to not have good germination. Oh, yeah. Pepper also attribute, well, pepper failure is attributed to user error. So make sure you're not the problem. <clears throat> because we've been the problem from time to time. Well, people are quick. We slash people are quick to blame someone else for more <clears throat> failure. So, it looks like we got more sweet peppers here. We've got Natapino, Italian pepperoncinis, True Heart, Super Shepherds, Long Sweet Hungarians, Corno de Toro Reds, Lunchbox Red, Yellow Picnic, Orange Picnic, Lively, Italian Orange and Yellows, and Tequila Sunrise, and Moroski Purple, and Golden California Wonder, and California Wonders and Glows. <clears throat> oh, this one's a favorite. This one's Chocolate Bootla CS. Now, like I've said before, if you get 50% germination on a super, super hot pepper, count your blessings. That is not a Chocolate Bootla CS. Uh, no, that is a weed. And back there's another uh, piece of yeah, grass. Yeah, so we've got a bit more than 50% germination. So well, about 70%, know, yeah, 75 it, maybe. It's not great, but you know, we're happy. And yellow Trinidad scorpions, which is pretty nice. And we're going to cut this video here in a moment. <laughs> so, sorry about the finger in the camera. Here's what I've been doing on this other shelf. So, you come in if your power cord. These come with a little toggle cord to turn them on and off. And I run one down one side and one down the other side. And it works real well. I don't have enough to do the bottom shelf, but that's okay. Tiffany can store stuff on that bottom shelf. She'll tie that end of those up and she'll have another shelf here to, to work with. So we've added enough room for counting the top shelf, four, eight, 12, 16, 20. And these will be 24 piece, so 48. So we've got, we've <laughs> added room for 68 trays today. So that'll keep us going because we're going to fill up one of these in tomatoes real fast. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Steve and Tiffany, we're saying sayonara, and we will see you next time. Hey, grow something this year. If you've put it off for years and years and years and thought you need to grow something, grow something. If it's just a tomato plant or a pepper plant, grow something. But get out in your yard and grow some food. Hey, if you haven't liked and subscribed, be sure to do it. Click that notification icon also. Share this video with friends, coworkers, family, enemies. and uh, we Social media. On all your social media. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you. See you later.